Hello guys, this is Dingo. People know me as a supporter for G2 Kingwin Esports. However, I got a lot of positive feedback due to my last two video guides. But I also got many requests if I could do another guide only about rotation. So here we are. In the next few weeks I'm going to represent three short video guides. The first one, this one, will be about early rotation and rotation in general. The second video guide will be about the new hero lands. And last but not least, the third guide will be about heroes like Glaive, Adagio or even Blackfeather which can be played as a supporter as well. Anyway, in my first video guide I already talked shortly about rotation. But the reason why I keep still talking about this topic is that in my opinion rotation is one of the most important things in Vainglory. A good rotation grants you a perfect vision, a better hyper living for your jungler and of course it gives you as a supporter much more gold. Imagine you have more gold than the enemy supporter so you are able to buy fountain first which gives you a huge advantage in the first team fight. So in the following I would like to share my strategy about rotation. Since it's a big talking point <clears throat> I have spent a lot of time to groove up my rotation. So guys, have fun with my video guide and enjoy it. So the rotation already starts before the game even starts, depending on your team composition and the enemies think about whether you want to play aggressive or passive. There are two ways to start, either the normal way, start with a contract, potion and flare, which often symbolize either an aggressive or passive behavior. Or you can even start with a contract in mind, which symbolizes a super passive behavior. So in this team composition, Cruel Arden Vox, which is definitely not really strong early and can be countered by many heroes, I have decided to play very passive and start with a contract in mind. Important, if you choose this way, you have to avoid early fights. After taking the shop creeps into your bush, you can go straight to lane, while your jungler goes back to base. Before you go to lane and get some extra gold, place this mine on top of your bush. This mine position is actually really awesome. The reason why I choose this position is that first of all it grants you perfect vision for this area. Mostly the enemies will either flare into your shop bush or they will flare from this position into your triangle bush. But the range of this flare from this position is too far away to spot this mine. Additionally, this mine is hugely important because it shows you if the enemies want to invade you or not. If they do, your jungler can easily go to their backs while you stay on lane and get some extra gold. Ok guys, let's switch to the other side. This time we have Fortress Kai Blackfeather, which is really strong early. Since me and my team are known for an aggressive playstyle, I start the normal way with a contract, potion and flare. Early, try to keep the distance to your jungler as much as you can, so he becomes level 2 faster. If you know you want to invade, ignore the shop creeps early. Then you can start the fight if you want. So, do the same rotation in your second jungle round again. So your jungler will be level 3 while you will be level 2. If you want to invade, you can invade again. Important, after your second jungle round, you should definitely stay more on lane. This has two facts. On the one hand, your jungler becomes faster level 6, which is really important for the first big team fight. And on the other hand, you get more gold on lane, which is really important to get fountain first of all. And in addition to this, it's easier for you to protect your laner in case your opponent wants to catch him. Short explanation for this rotation. Rightly, your jungler loses without you in any jungle round about 100 gold. But in my opinion, level advantage plus fountain first is better than one more tier 1 item from your opponent's jungler. Another formula which establishes this rotation is... Imagine, you do two jungle rounds with support which average takes 120 seconds, 2 minutes. Your jungler gets average 1100 gold, while your supporter gets average 650 gold. Two jungle rounds without a support takes 
almost 10 seconds more and your jungler gets average 900 gold, plus minus 50 gold. This is average 250 gold difference without a supporter in 2 minutes. Now, meanwhile your support on lane same time 120 seconds. Your support gets on lane average 1000 gold. In fact, your laner gets 7 of 8 minions. Calculate this up to 4 minutes, your jungler loses average 500 gold, but your supporter has average 2000 gold and wins 700 gold, so you have 700 more gold than the other supporter. And in addition to this, a level advantage for your jungler. Ok guys, let's keep going on. If you see, your jungler has almost finished his jungle round and he's at that hill creep. Rotate down to the shop. So first you always have a 2 vs 2 situation and second both of you can safely shopping and you can think about whether you want to invade or not. By the way you can continue exactly this same rotation we talked about in the following like until minute 10. But one advice. Be sure you stick together with your jungler when he wants to do the minion mine, because this would be a waste if you miss this amount of gold. One more advice. Never let one of your carries shopping alone, unless you know where the enemies are. If your laner needs to go to the shop, follow him. Last but not least, I would like to sum up my ideas about rotation. As I already pointed out, depending on your team composition, Think about if you want to play aggressive or passive. Then do this rotation. When you reach the shop, buy some flares and mines and then go to the lane. When your jungler has almost finished his jungle round and is about to kill his heal creep, rotate down to the shop. So you always have a 2 vs 2 situation and you can think about if you want to invade or not. You can do exactly this kind of rotation until minute 8 or 10. So you have at least two full tier 3 items, which is mostly Fountain Crucible, Fountain Atlas or Fountain Warhorn, whether what's needed. Last but not least, I would like to give a quick overview about how you should rotate in mid and late game. So you see this white circle. From now on you should rather stay more in this area instead of your own jungle. This has several effects. On the one hand, you have full control of Goldmine and Craig and you can better see if your opponent want to go for it, so you can react much faster. Additionally, you have even a control of both shops, so you always know when enemies are shopping and maybe go for infusions and want to start a fight. On the other hand, if you take a look on lane, you can always support as fast as you can your laner, in case the enemies want to push a turret. Or in opposite, you and your laner can push an enemy turret. So guys, this was my video guide about rotation. I really hope you liked it.